Hi right, folks, how's it going? Ooh, that did not sound good. Uh, another helpful video today. Um, this is for checking your bike for faults um, and also reading other sensors off the bike. Um, yeah, really the only reason you'd want to do this is to check faults. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of troubleshooting behind it as well. Um, so for this you will need your bike. Um, this uh, that I'm showing you now only works on the 2017 and probably the 18 and probably the 19. Um, the cable that I've got here, I'll put links in the description. My hands are cold. Oh, come on, there we go. Um, this cable is a four pin cable. Um, those four there. On the uh, 2016 bike and for the KTM 690s, uh, it's a three pin cable, so it is slightly different. Um, on the website that I got this off, uh, this cable off, um, it said for KTM Bosch ECUs, uh, but this is actually a Kaihin or Kihin, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, you need said cable, um, which converts just to a normal OBD2, uh, same as cars, vans, and, and so on. And this is just a run-of-the-mill eBay OBD2 reader. Um, this one was about 15, 20 quid maybe. No, I don't think it was that much. But yeah, it's about 15 quid. Um, it's better than the four pound ones because it actually reads more protocols. Uh, but there aren't that many on a bike, so... Or this bike, anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, uh, you'll need cable, thing, and a phone. Or a tablet, or something. Uh, the app that I use is called Torque. Uh, it's a popular app for... Uh, OBD2 readers and so on. Uh, so yeah, you have to pair it, set it up in the settings. Just wait for it to connect and start the bike. Uh, so basically, it's got GPS, phone, it's got the Bluetooth, so now it's just trying to connect to the bike. And there we go, it's connected. So many RPMs are doing. Click on real time. So that shows your RPM. It's a bit laggy, but it's not too bad actually. Uh, you've also got other sensor. I've got a spider right in the corner of my visor. Piss off. Uh, what else have I got on here? Uh, revs, speed, throttle. Don't know. Does that work? Yep. Yep. So throttle. Uh, it does have. Uh, what are they called? Uh, a bar sensor um, or atmosphere sensor, whatever. Uh, and we've got the coolant temperature as well. Uh, there's not many other sensors uh, that on this bike anyway. Only like air intake and maybe a couple of others. Um, I'm not sure if it reads wheel speed uh, or if it's GPS speed. Uh, I'd have to get my phone mount thing and test it as I go along. Uh, and fault codes. So it does a search, reading. Uh, hmm, okay. I'll have to look at them. Do de do de do. Current fault. Body powertrain. Heater control circuit. Oh well, didn't know they were there. Just reset them. Uh, clear faults. Okay. Complete. So usually, you have to turn the engine off. And turn them back on and do a rescan to make sure they've cleared. Just give it a second. So it can see what there has been. Start it. Then do a refresh. Oh wait, O2 sensor. Oh yeah, that's unplugged. So reset. Search. 
Yeah, so um, those are old faults. All good to go. Uh, so that's that basically. Um, I'll put links in the description to the app, the dongle, and the the adapter cable. Uh, I ordered it from America. I think there is a company in the UK that does them. Uh, they're about the same price. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked my video, hit like and subscribe for more useful how-to's and so on. And until next time, cheers.